I was standing on this glacier and watching it melt beneath my feet. Is there any hope? There's no, nothing that can be done to save the Icelandic glaciers. They will melt within a couple of hundred years. What happens if glaciers around the world continue to melt? Water that's contained in the glaciers will run to the ocean and raise the sea level worldwide. In the United States, there are still people who doubt climate change, who talk about two sides of a debate. How does that make you feel? Well, I'm surprised that you can keep a whole nation underinformed. You took these very dramatic photographs. The sequence of those is going to tell you a very, very obvious story. The glaciers are melting enormously. When will Iceland lose its next glacier? During the last 17 years, it lost 56 glaciers. But what about the future generations? Do you worry that their life on this planet is not going to be as good as yours? I know it will not be. What is causing this temperature rise? It's mostly the greenhouse gases. So it's the carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide, it's the one that is increasing by leaps and bounds. But there may be a solution, all thanks to this extraordinary rock. It's called basalt. It's all over Iceland and on many volcanic islands. And it's formed when lava is forced up to the surface and cools very quickly, forming these extraordinary patterns. But more important for environmental science, it's also porous. It's full of tiny holes. And scientists here in Iceland have figured out a way to get carbon dioxide to bind with the rock, taking it out of the environment. And that is good for all of us. The CO2 flows with the steam through the turbines. We take this gas, put it in at the bottom of the column. Then we have a shower of water coming in at the top. The CO2 automatically dissolves in water. So you turn it into like a, like yeah. a carbonated it's, beverage, yeah. like a yeah. soda. It's just a soda machine. You push it three, four times, you get carbonated water, and just yeah. instead you're just pouring it underground. Yeah. It kind of makes sense. It makes sense, yeah. It's no rocket science. The white we're seeing on this, that's the mineralized carbon dioxide. Yes. And it found its way into the little nooks and crannies of the stone. Yes. How much potential does this have? We have more than enough rock formations to store all CO2 if we were to burn all fossil fuel available on Earth. So why isn't this happening everywhere today? Cost has been the main barrier. It is a disturbance. in in everyday operations, but we will test this type of method both in Turkey, Italy, and Germany. What about the United States? Yes, there is interest in the United States. There was a very similar process being developed. I sincerely hope that we will have replications of this process throughout the world, while at the same time increasing all the other solutions for the climate crisis. We will see significant reduction in CO2 emissions. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.